right, I'm back with another DH gate pickup. These are the Jordan 1 band, band breads, bread ones, whatever you want to call them. Got these from the seller Kinman. So you don't have to ask for links. That's the name of the seller. You can just look him up. It's Q I N M I N one two three. So it's pretty easy to find them. And I got these at a real good price. They got the tumble leather and everything in them. And the quality is real nice, especially for the price for how low it is. You can see that tumble leather there. You can see it when you push it in, it, it wrinkles up. I mean, it's soft, but it's not super soft. Here's a look at the logo. See it there, it's supposed to be a little bit more pressed in, but it's not a big deal, it's just not um as deep as it should be. It should be like around right there and dent it a little more. There's a look at the Nike Air on the tongue. There's a look at the back, it's got white on the inside. Right there, it's got the size with the date, where it says October 18th, 1984 with the X. Inside, it's got Nike Air on it. Toe box looks good, looks pretty good. You can see it wrinkled up too on here. I have this one stuffed. Um, the toe box is stuffed because um, when they came in, they were like squashed real flat. So I stuffed them just to give it that the shape it's supposed to be. I just stuffed some socks in there and leave it in there for like 24 hours and it'll fix the shape of it. You can see from the inside where it's stuffed. And it'll stay popped up like it's supposed to be because it was real flat. Like the shape of the toe box was like this. All this was down under the black part. Like where the red is, it was all under here. It looked like, like that. And uh, I laced them up. They were already laced, but they were like, it was uh, laced real tight, like squeezed together. And they were laced the opposite way where it goes under. So I just took them off and uh, stretched them out. I put my foot in there and then I laced them up to have the shape that I want so I can just slide them on. I don't have to lace them up. I mean, I don't have to tie them. So here's a look at the bottom. And these do have the durable sole. You can't squeeze this one like um. Yeah, see, it's real durable. It's not like those off whites that I had. These are durable soles, and here's a look at the other shoe. This one came with the extra laces. And I'll be cutting these off right now because I'm about to put these on as soon as I'm done with this video. Yeah, so overall, I would recommend these if you uh, don't want to pay the high price or the high resale price. You can hit up Kinman and um, get yourself a pair of these while they're still available. Because like with all shoes, um, there will come a day when the, they'll stop making them. So you should definitely pick up a pair while they're available. It's got the pop-out stars. I didn't really see too many flaws with these. Well, I'll show you the only one that I've seen on this shoe was... Well, there's two. There's, you know, where it's not sewn right, but... That can easily be fixed with just taking the stitching off and... Adjusting to where it's supposed to be at. If you want to do that, I'm not going to do it. But here's the only flaw I really see. It's right here in the stitching. See this little corner where the stitching meets? It's supposed to be like about right there, a little bit higher. It's not supposed to be touching the Nike check. It should be up a little bit, but luckily it's um black stitching on the black leather there. So it's not really noticeable on foot or anything. But that's just the only thing I already saw wrong with these. 
I mean, other than that, it's a nice shoe. It's durable. It doesn't feel cheap or anything. It's got a little bit of weight to it, not too much. They're still a little lighter than they should be. But yeah, overall, it's a recommendation for me. If you're looking for a pair, so we'll look at the box here. Let's look at the label. Does that say forbid to wear? I guess the band thing. Came a little smashed right there. That's like the only real din I saw on these. It's got a little hologram sticker right there. Inside it's got um the stuff that comes with it, you know, the little things in the ankle and the shoe trees, the paper. It came with this little keychain. And I saw a card in here. Yeah, this little card here. So that's pretty much all that came in the box. And like I said, they're they're real cheap. They're not um they're not expensive at all. They do have a more expensive version if that's what you're looking for. But as for me, um these are these will do the job. And another thing is they came true to size. I ordered a size 12 and it's actually it's actually a US size 12. It's not an 11. They fit true to size. There's even some room in the toe box. So that's why um I like shopping with Kinman. He always hooks it up. So no complaints from me at all on these. So I'll catch you on the next one.